welcome to a new series here on Beyond the Trailer Disney, Disney Princess Remix. One of the reasons the Disney princesses are so popular is that they're pretty basic templates. We can see ourselves in them and play with them. So today we're going to start with Elsa, who Disney remixed themselves several times before the movie even opened. For instance, while Elsa was always going to have a big show-stopping musical number, she wasn't always going to go Broadway. Former Disney animation artist Claire Keane recently shared some of her concept art for the film, where the studio imagined Elsa as a Bette Midler type diva and also a tortured songstress a la Amy Winehouse. You might also notice that both are a little blue. That seems to have been a common visual theme for our icy villainess, as she was also imagined through most of the filmmaking process. And this snow sprite look? It was also meant to carry over to Elsa's pre-Ice Queen look. Now you'll notice that all of these designs have a lot of spunk. After all, the cold is very brisk. But Elsa, thanks to the song Let It Go, found herself remixed yet again. This time into a sympathetic young woman with a secret that terrified her, yet would eventually transform her. Yes, a remix is a huge part of Elsa's identity, as she undergoes the biggest transformation of any Disney princess to date. So now let's take a look at what Elsa's fans have done with her. By far and away, one of the most popular things to do with Elsa is hook her up with Jack Frost from DreamWorks Animation's Rise of the Guardians. Jack made quite an impression with animation fans himself, but alas, nothing on the same level as Elsa, despite his own dark storyline. Maybe he needed a good song. Speaking of guys, fans are also eager to genderbend Arendelle's queen, or is that king? Why should girls get to have all the fun? And with today's guys being just as image conscious as women, they're also eager for their own transformations. And while there's that distinct Disney look, artist Claire Hummel recently added Elsa to her series of Disney princesses wearing historically accurate dresses. Hummel painstakingly researched the fashions of the 1830s and 1840s when Hans Christian Andersen wrote the original story, as well as Scandinavian royalty. So now let's think about how we'd like to remix Elsa. Here are the basics. She's the queen of Arendelle, a Scandinavian type country. She has a younger sister named Anna who she loves very much and wants to protect, but she's not always in the mood to build a snowman. While Elsa originally saw her powers as a curse, she eventually realizes they are a gift. Love currently isn't in the cards for her. She has an amazing gown and she's a great singer. Okay, let's remix. Would you like to see Elsa embrace her role as Queen of Arendelle, or do you think she belongs in that ice palace she built? Would you like to see more of Norway reflected in Elsa's story, or is Arendelle perfect the way it is? Elsa and Anna spend most of Frozen apart. Do you want them to go on adventures together, or stay separate? And do you want a more realistic portrayal of these two sisters, or should we stick with the ideal? With her powers, should Elsa become even more powerful and test her limits? Or do you want her to stay at this level, at least for a little while? Do you want Elsa to find love or get her heart broken? And is it time to find out where she built her ice closet? Or should she stay with her now iconic look? Can she ever top let it go? Should her new songs be happy or still sad? And finally, guy or girl? Now that you have options, feel free to mix and match and share your remixed versions of Elsa down below. I also encourage you to check out the websites for some of the artists featured here via the links in the video description. Thanks for watching Beyond the Trailer, Disney. I hope you'll subscribe, and who would you like to see remixed next?